In the last activity, your students built a circuit that takes a signal from a music player, amplifies it, and plays it through a speaker. Now we're going to make the whole process wireless. In order to do that, we're first going to modify our amplifier circuit and turn it into an infrared receiver that can take an infrared signal and turn it into sound. We'll then test it by using an infrared tool that we've got in most of our homes, a TV remote. Our receiver circuit doesn't take very long to construct. Using our circuits from Activity 2, we simply replace the headphone plug with a phototransistor. A phototransistor works by converting light into electricity. Like capacitors, phototransistors also have positive and negative ends. Now that we've turned our circuits from Activity 2 into infrared receivers, it's time to test them out. It's also a good idea to encourage your students to experiment with their circuits and remotes in different ways, like varying the remote's distance from the receiver, varying the remote angle, or infrared transmission, and infrared reflection. Now that we've experimented with our receiver circuits by changing things like distance of the remote, angle of the remote, as well as transmission and reflection, we are now ready to move on to the final portion of this module. Again, make sure to have your students keep their circuits assembled for use in Activity 4, where we will be building our own wireless transmitters.